welcome to this 365 day devotional titled into his marvelous light this is brought to you by a peculiar people with elizabeth atipadio as young girl. this month's theme is my god who provides for me understanding our relationship with god cannot be complete without understanding God's ways in taking care of us and his true intentions for us on this earth. We may have had some misunderstandings or misconceptions about God's understanding of wealth, of riches, and of um, provision. But by the time we are done with this month's study, I hope that we have more clarity, more direction, and we are more in line with God's plans for us and the resources that he has trusted us with. Hello. Welcome to today's episode of Daily Devotions with Elizabeth. Um, today we will be reading from the book of Matthew, chapter 7, from verse 7 to 12. Ask and it will be given to you, seek and you will find, knock and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds, and to him who knocks it will be opened. Or what man is there among you? Who, if his son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will he give him a serpent? If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father, who is in heaven, give good things to those who ask him? Therefore, whatever you want men to do to you, do also to them, for this is the law and the prophets. The first of emphasis today is verse 11. If you then being evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your father who is in heaven give good gifts to those who ask him? When I was <clears throat> about to record the episode today, I was thinking, should it be the last in the series of teachings from the master or should i just give it its own topic and i think um i'm still stuck between both but <laughs> i think i would put the main title which is the last in the series of teachings from the master and then i'll put the title to keep asking seeking knocking in the description because it was this chapter originally, chapter 7, that I was studying when I um, started going back like to read the previous chapter because I had a lot of things I wanted to share. And it was, like I said, a little disconnected the way Jesus was saying some different things. Talking about false prophets, entering by the narrow gates, um, identifying those who genuinely knows him (coughs) and like a lot of different things that probably would be um disjointed if you look at it from the outside um, view but yes here we are another thing that jesus is telling us today this is not a new verse i mean particularly if you um have read matthew 7 before or if you have been in fellowships and church services and stuff ask and to be given to you seek and you will find that's a really popular first but yes what is the need for us today a reminder that we have to be deliberate and intentional in assessing whatever it is that god has in store for us you know, there's a lot of reminders in the scriptures like God owns the heavens and the earth. God will make 
things available to us through his riches in Christ Jesus. God um, takes care of his own. He has given us um, the earth to take dominion of. And like so many things in the scriptures that reminds us that our Father in heaven has everything at his disposal. And then you ask yourself, so why are some things happening or why is a particular situation looking some particular way you know what i mean right but yes this is a reminder from jesus today that we have a part to play in assessing everything that god has made available to us coincidentally it's also in line with um the um sermon for today today is a sunday it's also in line with the sermon for today in my church i'm talking about deliberately like pressing into our inheritance in christ or something like that and there's that reminder that um it's there it's there but it's not just going to jump on every single person on earth because you know there's the enemies and i'm talking about like spiritual like the devil has come to to steal to kill and to destroy and all of that and it's like you need to take ownership of of your responsibility you need to ask you need to seek you need to knock he said for everyone who asks receives and he who seeks finds and to him who knocks it will be opened you need to come to the father you need to come to him you need to speak with him you need to request you need to make your you know the bible says that children's giving make your supplication known to him and all you need to make it known like father i need help with this We are reminded that even we, as human as we are, in this flesh, we still know how to give good gifts. How much more will our Father in heaven, the Father of the heavenly lights up above, how much more will he give good things to those who ask him? I hope that goes with you today. And you walk in that consciousness. (coughs) Thank you, Father. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Thank you for listening to today's podcast episode. Don't forget to share with someone and don't forget to ask, to seek, to knock, to talk to God about your needs, about your heart desires, about the things that are bothering you. He's always there and ready to help, ready to show you the way out of whatever situation that you're in. Have a nice day. Bye.